Um, before COVID struck, I was a hairdresser, a bed and breakfast hostess, and a um, singer performer. My name is Colleen McGilley Cuddy McLaren. And uh, just recently on Facebook, a lady that I didn't even know read a post of mine, and she uh, had this little statement to make. She called it a triple delight Irish name, Colleen McGillicuddy McLaren. But the ironic part of that is that I'm French as well. My mom was French, my dad was Irish. So when they met, they didn't even understand each other. <laughs> so we were lucky, my sister and I, we inherited two languages. So I've been in this house, this first house of Prince Rupert, Heritage House, um, the very first house that was built by the Grand Trunk Pacific Railroad for the family, uh, the name of the family was Pillsbury. So the house had come into disrepair and the Heritage Committee um, was looking for someone to move in and I wrote a proposal to be a bed and breakfast. That was 26 years ago. I thought, I don't even know what a bed and breakfast is. I've never been to one. I don't even know how to start. I've got to do something special because there'll be international guests from all over the world. So I thought, what can I bring? Well, I'm a singer. Uh, so, okay, I'll sing. I was in love with Edith Piaf and that I could sing Edith Piaf and that she's famous world over. And I had written a comedy routine. So I thought I'll use this comedy routine. I'll tell a little story of Edith Piaf. I'll introduce her. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is 1915 in December. I am born on the street of Paris. My papa is an acrobat on the street, and me, I am singing with him, and together, that's how we make our living. Me, my name is Edith Giovanni Gassion. Anyway, so then that, they would laugh, and everybody's loosened up, and. And after I finished with my last very hilarious joke, I immediately hit the background uh, tracks and start singing, start singing to Piaf. So it was lovely. People from all over the world enjoyed it. And everything. And it was very, very successful until COVID struck. You know, I couldn't just close my door and say, I'm closed. I had to phone and contact everybody and contact them and say, I have to cancel your reservation. Four years ago, I began painting. I discovered I had another gift <laughs> I didn't know I had. I'd never picked up a paintbrush in my life and I suddenly, I tried it. I got more prolific. I don't know, the first year I did over 100. The second year I probably did about 70 or 80. I had stopped for a while and then I got re-inspired and my paintings were more, were more involved. It was, I went deeper. Well, I started with um, Leonard Cohen in Montreal. I love Montreal because our family is French and that's my background. My mother's family is French and it's the Montreal background of the ancestors. And the, his, there's a painting of him on a, on a skyscraper in downtown Montreal. And then I always wanted to paint The Last Supper. This is one that has so much meaning. And I didn't know that I was capable of doing it. And The Last Supper has a relation, it kind of relates to, to pandemic because here's Christ with his buddies eating The Last Supper before the crucifixion. And here's pandemic, the end of our social gatherings, like where we gather together and eat and the bed and breakfast, the main, the table and everybody eating together. And that, the pandemic comes and stops all that. <laughs> I was influenced, uh, of course, by COVID. My, my work was influenced by COVID. And then my large paintings were not necessarily COVID related. 
so I decided, oh gosh, I have to sign these, these paintings. But Colleen McGillicuddy McLaren just didn't seem to be much of a signature for a, a piece of art. And I have a name, a nickname. My little boy, when he could barely speak, wanted to say Colleen, and he couldn't say it, so he was saying, Cain, Cain. Of course, Taunt is, is French for ma tante, for my auntie, so Auntie Kai. So the name, they made they they picked it, I didn't, So and it stuck, so it was Taunt Kai. So I thought, now there's a name like Grandma Moses, Taunt Kai, so maybe I'll be world famous too, wouldn't that be something? But for now, it just things just still remain basically in limbo as they have been for the last year and a half. <laughs>